Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardcore Fishing Career Mode in Stormworks. Today we are going to be sailing back around to our dock and we're going to be changing this ship up quite a bit. We're going to delete a bunch of the engine segments because uh, we are too powerful, to be honest. This thing is way too powerful. We're also going to be messing with these guys right here, probably pushing these ones forwards and uh, sorting out the back end of the boat from there. Honestly, I think that's probably going to be the best port of call, so let's just get straight to it. Yeah, so essentially the main issue with this is that the engines are very, 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 very strong. And that's sort of an issue, because even though the engines are very, 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 very strong, they use a hell of a lot of fuel if you do push them. Now, this is a fishing boat. You don't have to go fast in order to fish. So, yeah, let's just get this back and sort it out. Okay, so, uh, obviously, moving these forwards is probably the easiest thing to do, so let's go ahead and grab each of these, go ahead and cut them, move them forwards by two, paste them back in, and that is mighty fine. There we go. From there, we're going to go ahead and seal this off just like this. We're then going to paint this bit probably grey, actually. So let's just do that. Here we go, grey and grey right there and grey right there. Okay, good, so they've moved. Now that means all of this is actually attached together, and when it comes to selling them, we should be able to position... Uh, the selling thing over this and it should work hopefully if we go downstairs uh, I wanted to get rid of a bunch of these so in order to do that Let's go and delete this one this one this one and we'll just have a three Cylinder engine on each side even that is probably still too powerful. So let's just go with let's just go with that It's a little bit insane, but yes, we're just gonna go with two two cylinders per engine bit crazy But will work at least I think so so, let's go above, uh, okay, let's not go above. <laughs> let's delete this guy right here, go through there, go through there, and that's fine. We'll get ourselves an engine thingamabobby, which is gonna be a fuel thingamabobby. Oh, I need to be doing this on both sides. I'm not, and that's really sad. All right, so I've done that. I've actually moved the fluids or the fuel thing backwards, and that's okay. It now means that the crankshaft could actually be a lot smaller, but it's fine. So, let's go and connect that one up to there, this one up to here, and the ship should be working a-okay. From there, what I want to do is actually partition a bit of this. Probably from there, actually, and uh, grab a pipe really fast. Yes! We're going to shove that onto there like that. And I'm going to have to move this backwards, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. Get ourselves a generator, and we do actually need some. Instead of there being massive generators, though, because I don't actually have them unlocked, we're going to have to go with some smaller ones. And you know what? We might as well go with a bunch of them. So, one, two, three, four, five. 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 There we go. Good. Uh, it should be worth mentioning as well, I guess, that we don't actually have the bigger batteries yet. So we should uh, get some. Here we go. Electrics. Yes, that gives us at least medium batteries. We don't have the big ones still. Uh, it also gives us medium generators. We should be fine. Okay. So, what was I doing? Let's go ahead and connect all of that together, so that at least it charges uh, everything. There we go. Yes. Okay, we'll just do it to there. That's fine. Do the same thing right here, and connect that down to there. And there we go. Now we actually have power generation on the boat uh, as well. So, we should use less fuel, we should generate power, we should be more stable. That's awesome. Oh, I am going to delete these guys as well. There we go. Although we have deleted weight from the back. That's still fine. Yep, there we go. And spawn it in. Let's see what that even looks like. Not too bad. Apparently we need more fuel, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. We'll get our truck out, we'll drive it up the hill, and we'll fill up the fuel tank. Okay, so driving up the hill is completely fine. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, fill this thing up. I'm also going to go to sleep overnight. Ooh, I was driving quite quickly into that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep overnight because at the minute we can't see anything again, which is uh, a common occurrence in this series. All right, so I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of hemorrhaging money right now. We're at 52,000 and we haven't really been making any money in the previous few videos. So we need to come up with a way to make some more money. I have noticed that this mission's right here, which is pretty good, but we are miles away. But if we decide to actually go fishing today, we're going to go straight through this area. And that would allow us to actually pick up some guys, fix their boat, I guess put out the fire. There's always a fire. And then uh, we'll sell our fish, and then we'll take them to hospital. Probably in that order as well, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, maybe we could do that. 
Okay, that's probably enough. We got 10,000, almost 11,000, and you can actually return to the workbench from there, which is pretty sick, so... Yes! Uh, it should be worth mentioning as well, obviously the truck costs money. So when we took that back to the workbench, you can see we got our money back a little bit, so not terrible. Anyway, let's go ahead and see... Uh, how fuel efficient the boat is now, now that we've changed it a bit. Alright, let's see if this engine even works. It could be that we end up in a situation where it doesn't even move. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I have a feeling that this might actually be pretty good. Okay, let's go in forwards. Alright, as long as our speed gets up to like 8, eight I'd be really happy, but actually 4? To be fair... 5 miles an hour, or 5 meters per second I should say, isn't terrible. I actually don't mind this speed. It's going to take us forever to get anywhere. But also, fishing doesn't need speed, so let's just go with it. There is a few things that we still need to add to this though, and that is things like rope anchors. So let's go ahead and just smash a bunch of these around because, well, we kind of need to. Uh, just in case we ever get into a situation where, I don't know, we end up breaking this. I'm just going to go ahead and smash them in all the way down here, that's probably fine. There we go, literally all the way down there. Uh, we should add some at the front around here as well, so around this area. Let's just put one there, and one here, there we go. And on the very front, we're just going to go ahead and delete these guys, and shove one there, and there. Okay, yeah, not terrible. Uh, we should probably add some more back here as well, so let's delete this guy and shove this on. That way around, and another one right there, and probably one right in the center. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oh, I almost forgot actually. So, in the previous video, we found out that I had no way of actually refueling this. So, we should, <laughs> uh, keyword should, uh, work on trying to fix that situation. So, let's just have this go backwards to there, go straight up, and that can be where our connector is for refueling. Okay, I guess that works. So, it's there. Uh, that might actually be kind of difficult to get to. Let's just uh, do this. <laughs> right, yeah, not the best situation, especially for, like, tripping over, but it's there, um, which is fine. So, yeah. All right, I think we might be good to go now, although I just thought of something else. I do actually want to sort of extend this this way if I can, so this is going to be a weird experiment, and I don't know whether it'll work, but let's try it. So, go to these guys, go to these guys, cut it, okay, and we're just going to go ahead and paste that there. That's fine. We are then going to go down to probably like here. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe like, maybe like there. There we go. We're going to delete all of those. We're then going to go to track. Okay. And now you know where I'm coming from, or what I'm doing. So, we're going to go to track, and we're going to shove this on here like that. There we go. Okay. So, from there, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to add these tracks all the way up to there. And then we're going to add this all the way up to here. And then we're going to merge this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy. And the track should allow us to actually extend the winches further out. Now, that's only sort of going to work with this, but I guess we'll see what happens. Look at that. It looks mad, but uh, hopefully it works out. So, let's jump across onto the deck. Yes, go underneath here, jump onto there, and uh, we need to see if the winches actually do still work. So, let's go ahead and press down. Yeah, the winches do still work, which is nice. Go ahead and press up. Yes. And for some reason, the track is extending. All by itself. I did not tell it to do that. Okay, I told it to do that one, though. Okay, so it's coming back in. I mean, I guess that works. I don't know whether I need it to be stronger or to connect on properly, but I think that's going to be fine. So, let's go to sleep. And then in the morning, we're going to head out and try and get all the way down to uh, here, I guess. I don't know whether there's any other cell points on the way, because there could be, but I'm not sure where they would be. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and reverse out of here, uh, if possible. There we go. And uh, we got to set ourselves off in the right direction. So, uh, what we got to do from here is actually press 1 again. Go forwards, please. Yep, there we go. And this is totally going to work. No, you know what? Actually, I think this will be fine. Um, it'd be nice to go a little bit faster. To be fair, 5 is probably a little bit too slow, but let's see what the net does. If the net is still fine, 
we might as well just keep it as is. Also, I can actually just keep the throttle fully in. There we go. So, let's go backwards. We will deploy the nets, even though I don't really think I need to. But, um, yeah. So, send them over the sides. Drop them both down. Hopefully, nothing is sticking to the boat. No, this thing seems to be having issues, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and send these guys out to the sides. Doesn't seem to be working. Go ahead and press... Oh, there we go. It is actually extending. Go ahead and press 1. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay, there is actually a fish right there, but we're not going to catch it. And then let's go ahead and press... 4. Yeah. Oh. Is that working? There we go. Right, okay, 4. So that's going to drop the net down. Hopefully opening the net up as well. So that's kind of what we need. Wait a second. This one isn't out, and this one is all the way out. What is going on there? Alright, let's go ahead and just mash this so it is actually all the way out sideways. Our nets look pretty good, and they aren't actually overlapping anymore. This one does seem to be stuck to the side, though. So, let's go ahead and extend it a little bit more. And actually lower it down a bit more? They do appear to be lowering down still. Ooh. Oh, wow, we've got loads of fish already. Uh, yeah, we've got two points actually stuck on the boat a little bit. Let's go ahead and stop lowering this down. And do some wiggling, and I think that'll loosen them up. Here we go. Wiggle the boat. That one fell off. And wiggle the boat this way. And this one fell off. Okay. Oh, they are so much deeper now. Let's raise them up a bit. All right, I'm going to leave it as is. I do feel like we need more powerful ones of these, but that's going to be okay. This is extended out. That one's extended out. And we are well on our way. Yeah. Okay, shortly into our journey, uh, I did just hear... Wait, what did I... I just heard the, the siren go off, but actually it stopped straight away, so I guess we're good. All right, never mind. Ignore me. Okay, so I'm going to say this now, like I said it before. Uh, there is definitely less fish in the ocean that are actually in deep ocean, so like, we're all the way out here. Then there is around islands, so you're probably better off just trawling around an island rather than actually sailing out into the sea, which is... Um, Kind of annoying, but I guess the way the game doesn't want you to lag because there's loads of fish makes sense. Because, I guess, there's less height between the top of the sea, or, yeah, like this, the surface, and the bottom of the ocean. So there could be more fish. I don't know how... I, you know what, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now and I'm not sleeping very well. <laughs> Um, so, never mind. I just ignore what I just said. But in my head, it made sense. Okay, so I'm thinking back to when I deleted a bunch of the cylinders, and I'm thinking maybe I should have left at least an extra one, so we had two three-cylinder engines. However, we didn't do that, and this is very slow. Uh, this has taken me ages to actually get to here, so... What I'm gonna do... Oh, wow, and our temperatures are really high, is... Cut the throttle. I'm actually gonna cut the throttle completely. Uh, what that should allow us to do is cool it down, because it's still pumping water through here, which is nice. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't use too much fuel to actually just do that at idle. And then I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to go to sleep, because at the minute it is night time, and I can't see very much. So, let's just go until it's pretty much morning, there we go. Get back outside, hopefully it's not too wavy. It does seem a bit wavy. Oh wow, yeah, no. Seems very wavy, but we'll be good. Yeah. Also, we can actually see where we're going. That's great. Ah, nice. Well, that's kind of unexpected. Uh, if you have a little look in the water somewhere over there, you will see a crate. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into the water like a crazy person. We're going to swim over there, we're going to grab that, and then we are going to continue on our journey. We're not actually that far away now. Two kilometers, so we'll be there in no time. But yeah, we might as well get this, because at the minute we've only got two research points. And we've only got 2,000... Dollars. Wait, that sucks. We want to get two thousand dollars. <laughs> anyway, this box seemed to be swimming away from me. Let me grab it. There we go. Twelve research points and two grand. Not too bad. Also, there are quite a few fish down there. Cool. Okay, it's got very, very laggy now that we've actually got over here, which is annoying. Uh, but I think we should be good. So let's go ahead and remove this. We're actually going to go ahead and go straight into here, and hopefully that'll be fine. And we're going to just sail around inside this area because that seems to be where a lot of fish actually are. So yeah, we'll just sail around, see how many fish, fi fish? fish we can catch, and um, I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Okay, so uh, I've done a little bit of fishing. Honestly, it's taken such a long time to do all of this that uh, our engine has, has heated up quite a bit and we've used quite a lot of fuel. But what we're going to do now is uh, bring this back into the middle. There we go. I am going to go ahead and raise this up and I'm also going to retract it because that is my job. There we go. So we've got quite a few fish, actually. It's, it's more fish than I was... Oh, wow, actually. That's not terrible. Again, our nets are stuck in the ground, which really does suck. But uh, this is sort of actually working. There you go. Nice. So once these guys are up, we're going to go ahead and bring these guys back. Here we go. Yes. And then we're going to send them backwards, and we're going to dump the fish in here, and then hopefully that thing over there will do its job. So, let's go ahead and just do this. Swinging it around. Yep, until they pretty much smash into each other. Brilliant. And then just drop them. Here we go. Three, two, actually wait. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, it's rain and fish. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, the, the cranes are now sort of fighting each other, but if I angle them back out again, in fact, actually, no, 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 bring them back in and push this button and lower them down. Hey, they're connected. Very nice. Yes. Okay, cool. So let's go back in here. Uh, we'll turn the engines on again. We have enough wiggle room here. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and try to sell our fish. We also need to know how much fish we've got, too. Okay, so I've reversed backwards into the area where that thingamabobby is, the pump thing. I don't believe it's turned on, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's just leave the boat here, though, and we'll figure it out. All right, so it's down as low as it'll go, but my ship has seemingly moved away, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and drive forwards again, reverse back, and hopefully it'll sell all the fish that's in there. We are starting with 4,648, and we'll figure out how much we've got in the end. I do have a feeling, by the way, that my fish aren't actually set on high, as in, like, I don't think there are actually that many fish in my world. Which is actually really, really annoying, because you'd want loads of fish in your world. But I didn't see that as a setting to begin with, but maybe it was actually a setting. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and try and park ourselves up. And we'll go from there. But yeah, if that is a setting in the, uh, the world spawn, uh, I probably didn't actually set it. So that means I might have to go into the files and try and change that, but I, I don't know if you, whether you can. We'll see. Anyway, let's go and reverse back into this, and hopefully it's at the right height. Uh, it might be. It might not. All right, we've accidentally pushed it out of the way. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, it swung back in. Okay, excellent. Never mind. Let's reverse backwards a little bit more. It's as low as it goes, so hopefully this does work. But I don't know if I can see it working at this point in time. I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to get the, the the ship in some sort of situation where it will work, but I don't see this happening. Currently, nothing has been sold, so that's a thing. How high do you have to make this go? I'm just going to sell it manually, because it's the only way I think I could do it. Alright, well this is going to take a while. <laughs> and that is everything sold! 7,400 and... Oh, no, no, 7,748. I'm not entirely sure how much we had at the beginning, even though I just said it, but um... I don't think that's particularly good. So, there you go. <laughs> anyway, we do have enough fuel to actually uh, cruise around here a little bit longer before we have to reverse, or like, go back. So, we'll probably end up doing that next time. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.